Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to show you comparison between Monday.com and Trail. The first thing, I'm going to compare our pricing plans and then I'm going to show you the main features, like how it feels to create boards or workspaces, how it feels to add tasks in both of these softwares. But before we start, let's have a secret between me and you. I know that I shouldn't do this, but I'm going to give you the truth, what you should use and when. Trello is amazing project management tool and also productivity tool if you are alone and if you have maximum two, three people in your team. If you get more than three people in your team, it's going to get overwhelming. They have primarily Kanban boards, but you can add also the list view through the Power Apps applications for Trello. And it's okay, but it's limited. So like two, three people maximum. Use Monday.com if you have a bigger team, 3, 5, 10 people. In that moment, I would definitely go with Monday.com. And if you are already using Trello, I would recommend switching to Monday.com when it's going to get overwhelming. So what you should do, you should go for Trello if you have a small team, two people, and you like Kanban boards. You need to love Kanban boards if you want to use Trello. But use Monday.com if you're going to have more people in your team and if you want to have complex project management system. And let's start comparing both of these softwares. So pricing plan. Trello got free account. Comparing to Monday.com, they offer only free trial. So we have to pay straight away after the free trial ends. On Trello, when you would have a business class, that's $10 per user per month. Monthly it's $12.50. And you get literally everything here. Power apps, list limit, card repeater, just everything. And then you got enterprise. But let's say that you have a business class that's monthly $12.50. In Monday.com, you can choose team size from three seats, and that's 10 bucks, 12 bucks, or 20 bucks a month, or 8, 10, 16 euro. But again, you're gonna have to pay in Monday.com annually. So let's compare the annual plans. So there's like 8 euro standard version in which you got like everything here. Got Okay, for three people, that's 29 euro a month and you have to pay annually. In Trello, you get 10 bucks. So Trello is kind of winning. But again, I would use Trello only with like three people maximum and then I would go with Monday.com. And maybe you can say that, okay, the Trello is winning in the pricing department because it's cheaper. But let's talk about the features now, like what they actually offer. In this part, I'm going to show you how you can create boards and also how you can use templates and what kind of templates they actually offer. So in a Trello, I'm going to click on a create new board. Right here, I need to add a board title and I'm going to add YouTube channel. I can make it team visible or I can make it private or public. And then I have option to change the background of it. Or I can also see more and upload my own. So I'm going to add a blue one and you can also start with the template. So I will click here, start with the template. And now we are going to stop here. And now we are going to create a board in or workspace in Monday.com and we will get to template too. So in Monday.com, you just have to click on the three boards here. And now just add a new workspace. I'm going to add it YouTube channel too. create a workspace. You can also change the logo if you want and then just click add here choose from template see more templates and when we are going to compare the templates in my eyes monday.com is completely dominating trail not only because uh, the templates are more complex but they are much more comparing to trello and you can go let's say to the business we can click on it and like right now we can grant tracking or we can go with like sales. And you can go with CRM sales pipeline. Let's click on it. But again, you need to do more clicks to actually get to it. And voila, here we see how it looks like. And we can simply click use template. Title, CRM sales pipeline, theme, trial workspace. Okay, keep cards, keep template cards. You can also disable that. Let's create. And same with Monday.com. I can go to sell CRM. And as you can see, you got multiple options for it. But I'm going to use the sell CRM use. And voila, here we got it. 
So we can connect to Trello. Okay. And now we got it. So onboarding new leads, hold warm code. Yeah, I should have disabled the, the <laughs> I should have disabled the cards here. But it's okay. It's all right. When you come here to monday.com, you see it right here. You see, if I would have a team of people working in sales, I would definitely recommend using monday.com. It's pretty, it's like really, really mm, clean is the right word. So let's say that I want to, I don't know, let's archive this and archive this and archive this. And let's just add the tasks here and also cards and how it feels. In Trello and Monday.com, it's really simple to add a card and a task. Just simply click on Trello, add a card, and I can add a title, YouTube video, add a card, and now I can just click here. I can open the card, I can edit the labels, change members, copy, change due date, archive. So I will open the card, and voila, here we got it. So you can simply click add members and add them. You can label it. You can add a checklist into it. See, like what needs to be done. Then you have due date that you can add attachments, cover. And then you got like power ups. And then you can simply move it. You can make a template from it and add a card button, like move card to, or this is like the automation. Then this is how we can do it in Trello. In Monday.com, you simply like add a lead or add a task that can be new lead. I can click on it. And then I have item card here. So this is what you can actually edit for the item. It's what, what you see here is what you get as a custom fields right here. So there is location, company, email, I can see right here, email, company, location, and I can edit everything and also phone. Then you can add uh, updates, activity log, what was actually happening, and build it. This is really great that you can actually uh, create quotes instantly and you can add more views if you want to. Then you can simply assign it to someone and then click on the three dots. You can export to Excel or archive it. So this is really great. Here, you just simply click here and you edit it as much as you want. But again, as I mentioned, this is really good for two people. Trail is amazing for that. But Monday.com is just great for more people. Then when you go in further, what you can do is to simply create custom fields or columns. Then you would click more columns here. And you can add sub items, timelines, statuses, long text, like progress tracking even. Oh, let's go with the time tracking. Add to board. I can start like the time tracking, really simple. In Trello, it's same, but you need power ups for it. You can see right here that I can just find power up. I can go with the time, time tracker, see search results. And voila, here you got it. Time Tracker Chronos, Time Tracker by Time Champ, Calendar Timeline, Time Tracker. Really play around it as much as you want. So, Trail got it too, and they got multiple options, but they are all extensions. They are not implemented directly to Trail. It's from the company. They are from outside companies. Or some like guys who or girls who created it. Those power up. When we are going to compare the views, Monday.com is completely dominating the Trail. You would click here on all views and you can click the add view and add a table. Also add a Kanban. So what you get on Trello, you can get also in Monday.com or you can simply add a chart, timeline, workload, files, or you can even go here and click apps. And you can see it right here, map and also outside applications that you can use like Amped Art Table. Word Cloud, Online Docs. In Trello, you got mainly, you got mainly Kanban style of the board. 
you can also go to calendar you can go to map but what you can do is to through power ups add like trail tree view so if you would like to have a list you can do it but again it's again extension it can bug it's not going to sometimes work properly but you can still do it and that's pretty much it also money.com offers you when we would come here option to click plus and add a formulas if you want so if you want to calculate things uh, sum it up or let me show you formula add to board and now we just choose the average mod sum you can do it you don't have something like that directly in a trello by trello so if you want calculations and if you want formulas you should go definitely with monday.com when we compare integrations trello is dominating monday.com trello got more integrations i'm just scrolling what i found comparing to monday.com when i go to the bottom left and click integrations here you can see clearly they don't have so many comparing to trello but monday.com got integration with trello badum <laughs> i'm just kidding so yeah also another thing that i really like about monday.com are automations when you would go here again to integrations and i can see our automations you can really use it and automate your project management so when time period create an item when a status change something notifies someone you have it also in trello but again you need to add it through the power-ups and to add power-ups more you need to have the account that you have to pay but yeah but trello is completely winning with automations that you can use and i recommend if you want to go with automations i recommend going with monday.com i mean the monday.com is winning comparing to trello when we compare trello with monday.com uh, for usage on android or iphone they're on the same level monday.com is not lagging it's perfect you can simply add the columns you can simply add lists I'm using it you can see that I got also installed and it's perfect Trello also is really great so there is not like one is better comparing to the other again if you want to use it for your personal usage Trello I recommend it straight away you can also work with it with your team but again even on mobile it can get overwhelming if you're gonna a lot of things on Trello. On the other hand, in Monday.com, if you're gonna get a lot of things, it's still clean. You can still you can still find a way through your tasks. And that's pretty much it. So thank you very much everybody for watching. If you have any questions, ask me down in comments. And my recommendation is that use Trello for small teams. Yes, Trello is perfect if you have a small team with two people. Uh, you have plenty of integrations. If you like Kanban boards, it's going to be enough for you. The pricing is free or really cheap. But Monday.com is like a beast, you know? Like if you're going to choose Monday.com, you're going to have everything. And also, if you're struggling with Trello, and if you in the future will struggle with Trello, or what you can do there, and you want to expand with graphs, and you have multiple connected external applications, I would go definitely with Monday.com. If you want to upgrade or asana that's two two ways to good and also i definitely recommend check it by the templates if you can find really useful templates in monday.com or trello it's completely up to you so yeah thank you very much everybody have a great day guys and goodbye see ya